performing liquid culture inoculations. We're going to grab our 70% isopropyl alcohol and pour in oh, about an inch worth of alcohol. Usually works for me. And we'll get ready to go ahead and rinse off our parts of our syringe. Now, they're already sterile. We don't really need to rinse them, but I find that what this helps with is when you put the plunger back in place inside the syringe, the little bit of alcohol will help to trap any contaminants just in case the uh, force of your injections or withdrawals of liquid culture mycelium causes any contaminants to enter through the rubber seal. We'll get our syringe tip ready, rinse it quickly in the alcohol, and the same with the nozzle of the syringe, and then we're going to lock those in place with the lure lock. Now we're going to stab our little bit of sponge there and pick it up for use, and we'll proceed. So what does that sponge actually do for us? It doesn't kill any fungus, it doesn't kill any molds, all it does is help to keep them away. See, without it, our injections would be overrun by the ambient mold on the surface uh, of the bag or the air around it, and everything we do would be ruined by a single spore. But with that sponge in place, it actually provides a protective barrier where you can withdraw your needle before and after injections, keeping it completely clean and free from contaminants as long as your alcohol remains clean. We're going to go ahead and start by grabbing some of our liquid mycelium from a jar. We'll clean off the, the injection port. And we'll go ahead and make a withdrawal. Sometimes you have to kind of work it back and forth in order to be able to get the mycelium out of the port. The mycelium tends to clump up naturally, but giving it a few swirls usually breaks it up enough to grab an injection out of it. You can use a stir bar as well. Laboratory stir bars are sold online and you can use a magnetic stirrer underneath it. But that will cost you a bit of money and I tend to go kind of low tech. So I run mine without the stirrer and I just give my jars a swirl now and then to break up the mycelium. All right, now that we've got our liquid culture syringe ready, we're going to go ahead and clean off our injection port that's on this bag. Very handy. We'll squeeze off some of the alcohol before we begin and then we'll plunge the needle in and make our injection. We withdraw the needle into the sponge block and we pull it away. The inoculation port seals up after the needle leaves and it protects it from anything entering. And we'll just give that bag a mix, distribute some of that liquid culture around on the inside, and we'll set that aside. All right, what's next? Oh. Liquid culture mycelium. A lot of people don't happen to have this laying around. It's available from many places online. It's easy to work with, and you can expand tiny amounts of liquid culture mycelium into huge amounts. Dirty basement, giant mushrooms, coming soon to a basement you're in. Come check out the full video at mushroommanofpeatone.com.